Okay, I'm going to try to talk you guys through how to give Angel a shot. These details are important, um, so even if you think you know how to do it, just go and listen to the whole video because there's a lot of little tips and tricks I kind of figured along the way that we see the visual aid help a lot. So this will be his skin, and when I pinch his skin, I don't pinch a lot like that. I pinch just a little bit, like where the tips of my fingers are, if possible. And when you pull it up, what you want to get is something that sort of is like, this fabric's not cooperating as well as a dish towel. Something sort of like this. See how it kind of goes concave here, indents a little bit. If you pull up too tightly, what ends up happening, if you, if you pull up too far, regardless of where you pinch, what ends up happening is this, where it gets really narrow. And so when you try to put the needle in, you just end up tracking the needle along one of the walls of flesh. Instead of going inside where you want to go, you end up kind of going along here, and that really hurts him. So what you want to do, when you pinch up, pinch up just a little bit, like I said, with the fingers. Don't pull up too far. And then sometimes I'll actually use these two fingers instead, and my index finger to help create that little pocket. Sometimes when you do this, you don't really get a pocket. It's kind of more of an angle like this. And sometimes with your fingers, you know, you can, the skin rolls better than this fabric does, but sometimes you can twist your fingers and, you know, do things to end up, basically that's what you want. You, you want like this pocket here. So pull up just a little bit. If you need to, use your finger to help create that pocket and feel for it. So I'll feel, I don't actually see the skin I feel for that little, that little hole there. Now, when we get that little pocket, I'm gonna leave that there. I bring the needle in. I don't go straight in this way. I kind of tilt it just at a little bit of an angle, sort of like that. Not much, just a little bit. And the spot I aim for is that sweet spot right there. Not quite at the base, not up, but it's kind of this nice, you know, spot where it has the greatest chance of being pulled away from the underlying tissue. Like Jake said on the phone, if you do it right, the needle will feel like it's going through butter. You'll barely be able to tell that the needle's gone through anything, but as soon as you do feel that very slight sensation, you stop. All you need to do is get the very tip of the needle in. It only needs to go in like a millimeter or two, and then you're good. If you go too far, you risk coming out the other side, like over here, or you risk tracking along one of these walls of flesh, which is just really painful for him. So, so that's the thing. Just to recap briefly, don't take a big old pinch, just slight. Bring it up just a little bit. Use your finger to help create that pocket. Once you got the pocket, you go in, not at a 45, but kind of about like this. Doop. And you go for this spot that has, you know, you'll be able to feel it with your finger, the, the greatest chance of being sort of elevated. And once you go in, just go in a millimeter or two, and you should be good. Uh, I think, I think that's it. Um, oh, change the needle before you do the shot. We always change the needles before. If there's any question as to whether or not you change the needle, go ahead and change it again. We have plenty extra. It's far better to waste a needle, a needle or two than it is to shoot him with an old needle. Um, if you have any questions, give us a buzz. But I think that uh, is most of it. Ciao. Love you guys. Good luck.